is about my relationship with the landscape as my mentor. I've always been interested in making three-dimensional works because I, like you, like all of us, are trying to figure out why we're here. What is this all about? So for me as an artist, this is my usual way of working. Beauty is such a huge component of these artworks, but they don't really operate as a, so a social functioning uh, concept unless you see 139 iterations of them. So the idea is pretty simple. It really is how we repeat our thoughts to the point of humor. And I was trying to make enough iterations of my form that it almost became a party, almost became a celebration of that form. And I wanted to use the um, mountain form as an entry point to discuss a much deeper issue. And that is this way that we obsessively compulsively return to the same thought to the point where you at some point hope that you ask yourself is this real i sometimes draw things out you know i'll just get like the full picture and in this case i wanted to allow myself to wander and explore so i had the concept each time I would make a decision, I ask inside. Um, I, don't, I don't wanna be making art to entertain myself, but it's not, it's not my, um, I, I don't think we need more stuff in the world. I think what we need in the world more is an intentional endeavor that really discusses human nature in a more, processed or a more subtle, maybe a more meditative or focused way. That's how I work. I get to a point, I ask the next question, I take the next step, I ask the next question, I take the next step. And some of the questions I argue with like, really? Isn't this okay? And I'll go to bed and all night I'm like, and I wake up in the morning, all right, all right, all right. I'll, I'll remake all the moles, which for me is like a one month process. I like to work alone. I like to let myself wander, like I was saying before. And so when I'm doing like bigger moves, I go to a, a studio outside of this space, use a few assistants so that I can work a little more quickly on you know, more complicated and heavy elements like stone. I, I really am feeling this conversation as part of my new practice or an extended element of the practice. The idea of video, the idea of photography becoming artwork in itself is part of this new practice. And I think I'm gonna continue moving in the direction of making art that can stand on its own through a screen so that we can understand an art object in a much more comprehensive way. I don't think that the object is ever gonna leave us. And I'm really glad, <laughs> I'm really glad to know that because I was talking to my husband and I said, so I think I'm not going to make an object anymore. And it goes, really? Wow. You want to just start completely over. And I don't because I feel like I've just gotten started with becoming a good sculptor, becoming a good storyteller. The object tells me who I am. I tell the object who it is. Then it, the object takes on a life of its own. I mean, just think about our wounding. I came from a very very complicated background. And that's all going into my art also. Um, that there are inconsistencies and complications and elements that don't make sense, just like me. So finding the common bonds between us, there are so many more things that bind us in commonality than really separate us at all. This is my effort to speak about that more directly and actually returning to your question about what my next step is, I think I'm becoming more courageous 